Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to show you how to build a simple study planner using Notion. And this is perfect whether you're a student studying at school or you just want to study on your own. And we are also going to show you how to incorporate AI into your studies for the best results. So let's get started. First, we'll open an empty Notion page and we're going to title this Student Planner. And let's go ahead and go to the top right hand corner and turn on small text full width. And you'll notice that there's way more space in the page. Now let's choose a cover photo by going to add cover and we're going to go to change cover and then unsplash which has a huge library of stock images and we're going to look for something like a library to fit the theme for this template. So we're going to click here and now we're ready to plan this student planner. So with this student planner, we are planning to have three databases and each of these databases are going to connect with each other and we're going to have them on the page in two columns. So we want to type slash column and we're going to choose two columns and on this side, we're going to have topics and on this side, we're going to have our study calendar. And it's a really good idea to add these placeholders when you make columns just so that you don't lose the columns. And now we can start building the databases. So on this side, we're going to have topics. So we're going to type slash and we're going to go with the list view database. And you can click plus new database. And this is going to be called topics slash course. And under here, we are going to have a notes database. So we're going to type slash and table view and plus new database here as well and we're going to name this notes and now on the right side we're going to have a study calendar and for this we're going to use calendar view so you should type slash calendar and let's add plus new database and we're going to name this study calendar so now let's check the topic slash course database and check all the properties. So the first one we are going to go with is going to be a beginner Spanish topic or course. And we are not going to use created property. So we're going to delete this property. And we're not going to use tags here. So we're going to delete this property as well. And instead, let's go ahead and add a date property. So you can keep track of when you started it or how the course starts and ends, depending on what kind of information you want to put in this topics and course. And now we can fill these two in as well. So let's say that this one is philosophy. And graphic design. And we're going to move this column just slightly to the left here. So we have more space for the calendar. And now let's look into the calendar. So we're going to click here to add an item. And let's say that there's a quiz for Spanish. And we're going to tag it as quiz. And we want to relate this quiz to our beginner Spanish topic or course. So we're going to click plus add a property and choose relation. And we're going to link it to topic slash course. And we're going to show it on topic slash course so that we can keep track of everything. And we're going to add relation. And now let's go ahead and choose topic slash course. So this is beginner Spanish. And now we're going to click out of here. And you'll notice that nothing shows up. So we have to show those properties on this calendar. And to do that, you want to go to the three dots here and click on properties and we're going to turn on tags and topic slash course. And now you can see the quiz and you can see what course this is related to. So now we're going to move on to the notes. So let's say that we go to our Spanish class and we take a class note for Spanish and we can tag this as class note and now it would be nice to have a date. So we can click here for plus to add the property for date. So this would be the date you made the note. And then it would be good to have a review property. 
But let's make this a checkbox. So we'll search for checkbox property and then we'll rename this review. And that's pretty much it. But now we want to connect this to the topics or course. So we're going to add another property here and we're going to add a relation and we're going to relate this to topic slash course. And we're going to show it on topic slash course and add relation. And let's go ahead and choose the beginner Spanish here. And we are going to delete these two rows because it's not filled at the moment. So we're going to go to like this. And now we have class note for Spanish and it's tag class note. We're going to move the date a bit over here and the review all the way here so it's easy to see. And now what would be good is actually to freeze the column, which is something that we tend to do all the time now with table view databases. And what you need to do is click here and click freeze up to column. And now if you scroll like this, you'll be able to see the name the whole time while you're scrolling, which is really nice. So now let's check what it looks like inside beginner Spanish. So we have the notes here and the study calendar. And imagine if you have lots of notes and lots of calendar items, it would be nice to be able to hide these. So we're going to click to the six dots here and choose minimal for show as. And we're going to do the same with the study calendar. And now what we want to do is show a linked view of these two databases. But before we do that, let's make sure that these two databases look exactly the way we want them to. So for study calendar, it would be a good idea to hide the database title so it looks a little bit cleaner. And for that, we're going to go to the three dots here and we're going to go to layout and we're going to toggle off show database title. And we're going to do the same for these two as well. And now what we can do is adjust this notes table by going to the filter here and we're going to filter it by whether or not the note has been reviewed. So the main view is going to be all notes that haven't been reviewed yet. So we're going to change this table name by going to the three dots here, rename, and we're going to name this not reviewed. And we're going to make another tab here, add view, which is going to be reviewed. And we also want to hide the database title here. So you're going to toggle this off and we are going to start filtering. So if we click filter for the reviewed, we want the review to be checked for it to appear here. And then we're going to save for everyone. And on this side, we want it to show only the ones which don't have the checked. So we're going to click filter and we're going to go to review and we want it to be unchecked. And finally, it would be good to have one which just shows them all. So we're going to go to plus add view and we're going to hide the database title and we're going to name this view all. And that's going to show everything. So we're going to show the not viewed in the main page, but then it's possible to see the other views. So let's just add a few more notes here. Graphic design notes. So let's say that we click here, then it's going to be gone once you review it. And if we click here to review, we see that it's been reviewed. And if we see view all, it's going to show both of them. So it works exactly the way we want it to. And finally, something that would be nice to add would be some headings here. So here in this area, let's actually go ahead and put notes and slash divider. And we're going to change this note into heading three. And now what would be good is if we copy this by highlighting and then copy, and then we're going to add a space here and paste, and we're going to move this all the way to the top of this column. And we're going to name this courses slash topics. And on this side, we want to add for our calendar view, the study calendar. So we're going to highlight this and we're going to paste this and we're going to move it to this side and let's name it study calendar. So now we have this clean view here with our study calendar, courses, topics, and notes. And finally, what we want to do is to be able to show these inside each of our course topics. So if we go to 
beginner Spanish, we want it to show up inside here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a database template by clicking this arrow here and plus new template. And we're going to call this new course slash topic. And we're going to add linked view databases. So for that, we're going to type slash link and linked view of database. And on the top, let's show the notes. So we're going to click notes and we are going to show the not reviewed. And we're going to show another tab here by clicking plus and we're going to show the notes and we're going to show reviewed. And we're going to show the third one by clicking here, the same thing, notes, and then view all. And now what we can do is actually to also filter it by this new course or topic so that it only shows that. We're going to go to filter, add filter, topic slash course, and we're going to choose new course slash topic and save for everyone. And we're just going to do that for the two others as well. And now we're going to add the study calendar underneath here. So let's do slash and then linked again, linked view of database. And we're going to link it to the study calendar. And we're going to copy the calendar view that exists here. And let's go ahead and filter it by this topic slash course and save for everyone. So now this is going to work once we load this in our course slash topic. So we're going to go back. And let's go ahead already to click here and change this to default by going to the three dots here and set as default. And now if we click open our beginner Spanish and we choose new course slash topic, it should show the relevant information. So we see our class note for Spanish, but not the graphic design one. And we see in the calendar view, the quiz for Spanish and everything works the ways that it should. The last thing we want to show you is how to incorporate AI into your student planner. And in order to use AI in Notion, you do need the upgrade for Notion AI. And if you're interested in that, we'll leave a link in the description below. And if you do decide to upgrade using that link, we may get a commission at no cost to you. And we'd greatly appreciate that. We've also been using it and really enjoy all the perks that come with it but let's just see how we can incorporate AI into the student planner. And for that, we're actually going to add some AI properties to our notes, which is the best way to add AI at the moment. So if we go to plus here, we can actually add something called AI summary, and this is going to automatically summarize the information inside your notes. So this is a must to add into a notes database. So let's go ahead and click AI summary. And you can choose whether or not to auto update on page edits. So if you edit the page, it's going to automatically update your summary, which is a really neat tool. So let's just go ahead and now we have our AI summary here. So let's actually fill in this class note. And for this, we're just going to make a new note, which is going to be called AI note. And we're going to open this AI note and let's say that we had an article that we are reading and we just want a quick summary about it. So we're going to go to this article and we're going to copy this in. And of course, this can also be your own personal notes that you write in here, but this is just an example. So let's say that we type this in and now what we can do is we can go to this AI summary and click this one button to update it and it gives us this short summary. So this is really useful because when you go to your notes, you want to be able to quickly skim and see what this is about. So like this, you can just see what's going on inside here. And if you don't like that, it clogs it up like this. You can actually change the setting by going to these three dots and changing the layout by clicking layout and you can turn off wrap columns and this way you can just click on it to read it but it's not going to show it inside the whole column like it just did and in general this is super useful the next useful property to add is some study questions that ai is going to generate for you based on this ai uh, note that we just added 
So we can actually choose AI custom autofill. And if we click that, we can give a prompt in this box. So let's say five study questions based on this page and save changes. And now if we click here for the wand, it's going to give us five study questions. And this can be super useful if you're trying to study for an exam, just to get some questions out of the text so that it's easier for you to study. And we can rename this five study questions. So that's the basics of creating a study planner in Notion. And we hope that this was useful for you. We'll leave the link to this template in the description below in case you want to compare your versions. And we also have a line of student planners over on our store, which have even more advanced features like flashcards and grade trackers and so on. So make sure to check those out. We'll leave those in the description. And let us know if you have any comments, questions, or anything that was confusing about this video. And we hope to see you in the next one.